please don't forget to like comment and subscribe this is a very interesting guy right he's a, he's a, he's a he sometimes he's a diplomat uh, sometimes he's a physician um sometimes he's a basically a escort a palace guard a muscle uh, as you say uh but very literate incredibly kind of steep in um you know history poetry um and he you know he comes from a lineage of kind of uh you know his father was also in the service of the of the of the Deccani sultans he has a very clear idea that he wants to write a history of all of hindustan and the reason he wants to write a history of all of hindustan that is that basically if you're a if you're a elite literate guy i mean he's not elite he's a, he's a service member right he's not like he's not a prince or anything you know he's a salary guy he he gets a salary right um so but you know he's elite in the sense that you know he's kind of like me i'm elite in the sense that i my job is to think <laughs> so you know uh, uh you know i'm a professor so that's an elite status and that's i'm not rich but uh, you know that that's my that's my that way so he what he's facing is that there are a number of histories that are being written some in herat some in tehran or iran some in agra that are universal histories are histories of you know either a dynasty histories of akbar etc cetera, etc cetera. and he's like you know i think i have something to say and i just need i need the right uh, patron i need someone to kind of sponsor this work and finally the ibrahim abdu shah ii who is the prince uh, in charge of uh, bijapur you know he's also very learned he's a musician incredibly talented musician he's uh, obviously a, a himself a masterful poet um very involved in the creation of dakani uh, incredibly artistic fellow um so this guy says hey you know what you you write a history for me i'm going to commission a work from you and it's going to it's going to have it's a noras it has to have a a newness to it that has not happened before it has to have this rasa of of wonder and and amazement and frista says yes that's what I, i've been waiting for this commission so what i was kind of trying to figure out is like you you know you are at the cusp of the beginning of the 17th century you're you're living in the deccan you're living in a you know very nice town bejapur but your you know your patron is not jahangir your patron is not the big mogul king you're not in the center of the world you're not in delhi agra or any you know lahore any of those you're like a nice place but you know so first of all you're like i i can i can write something so that tells you something about the intellectual world right like there is a there is a right to narrate that we with the story belongs to me it doesn't just belong to the the largest part guy with the largest army it belongs to me even if my i don't have any army it doesn't just belong to you know the the person with the most credentials elite credentials i can do that and the second part that he's he's sees himself very clearly as part of a long line of histories of hindustan historians of hindustan so he says my job is to kind of finish a story that has been happening before me and what the beginning points of those story for him are the mahabharata because for him that's where the kind of histories begin of hindustan and he's like i want to tell that story all the way to my present so for farista you know to tell the story of hindustan it's not a story of 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 simply a political space it's not a story simply of a linguistic space it's not a story simply of a commu- like what we call communal space right but it's a story of a space that has all of these things in it right hindustan has various political entities has various communities has various uh, foods and everything else so that's the story that prista wants to tell and he's very confident that he can tell the story hopefully you liked this episode please don't forget to like comment and subscribe